Okay guys, got a new adaptation going with the root spot. And there it is. I've adapted the lid to accept the three inch pot, net pot. And I have the seedling, or not the seedling, but the plant cutting, which is rooted, stuck in that pot, surrounded by rock wool cubes. And you can see it gets pretty wet. Actually, I put it in there with the, with the rock wool dry, and it's already absorbed quite a bit. And it's getting plenty of aeration, so I think this thing is going to work, as long as we can keep it supported. Imagine that. Growing a full-size plant with just about no medium. No medium. Save a lot of time and trouble and money. Just get rid of that little bit. So with this one, conditions normal, you, you run it the same way, except that you run the level until this thing is rooted all the way. You run the level just about all the way to the top. You want to make sure you cover the roots initially until you get one. Now here's a typical setup. This plant's been in here for about a week. It's already rooted nicely. And it's about two inches taller than this one. But we're going to make comparisons. Now this is full of hydrogen. It works great, it holds the plant's roots well, but it's a lot of material. Can you imagine just using this much? Here's an example of growing a really large plant. Look at the stalk on that baby. In core, using the uh, liner for one of those hanging baskets. I just get these baskets at Lowe's. Well, they're about two bucks. Easy to shape and cut. Then you can just fashion them to uh, house these, the fine core fiber. This plant got very large, and I think you'd have to use a five gallon bucket for a real large plant. But it grew roots right there. It didn't fill the bucket, so. Actually, it might have been able to use a three gallon. We'll have to check that out. Now, I made a change in the growth media because I wanted to be consistent with the others. So I replaced the rock wool with the core and one of these core liners in the three inch pot. At the same time, I decided to test a five inch net basket filled with core as well. This is fashioned from a flower basket liner, the coconut fiber, and fine coconut fiber is placed inside as the growing medium. But I'll give you a little update on the DWC progress, the experiments I'm doing. This is the standard bubble bucket or root spa. This is an experiment using the smallest amount of growth media possible. This is cocoa or cola, coconut fiber. It's working really great. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Now this thing has developed quite a few roots just since this last week. These are all very healthy, healthy roots. I'm going to have a little trouble getting them back in there. I fashioned a cover to fill this net basket and then I filled it with the raw core or the fine core fiber. And this plant is doing just fantastic. It's incredible. Well, here's a, a shot of the roots. And you know, it doesn't get any better than that. And here's the last experiment. It's pretty much the same as the first one. It's a plant I started later. So between the two, 
I will select one, which will probably be this one, to uh, for the for the for the edible leaves. This one's getting to going is going pretty good too. It's that's a really nice root fruit protruding into the I'm anxious to see how big these plants will get in these three gallon buckets. I think we can get by without using a five gallon. So to summarize this experiment, we did get bigger growth in the original root spa, but we started out with a bigger plant too. So On the three inch cup, we got amazing growth, really. This is incredible. This has grown for the same amount of time, minus a couple of days since I changed the, the growth media. But it's come along very well. As for five inch uh, baskets into three gallon buckets, both of them did exceptionally well. I'm really happy with this. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go this route, at least in the greenhouse, from now on. But it was a very successful experiment. I'm real happy. With it. And we ended up with some really good tasting leaves. I use the same nutrient in, in all of them, so it's all organically grown. Well, that's about it. I really appreciate the support I get from you guys on these videos. I know they're often a little bit noisy. My voice is a little soft, but I thank you for bearing with me, and I thank you very much for watching my videos. Take care.